My grandmother was born in a small Vietnamese village on a stormy night. She was called Lien after the lotus. Hand of the six man, you know I'm better than you. Yeah, watch me. I didn't like to visit her very much. She told me of the games she used to play when she was my age. Dando was one of her favorites. Then there was hopscotch. But I wouldn't be caught dead playing hopscotch. So I paid no attention. Hurry up, MD. Coming, coming. Ow! <laughs> I always knew you had two wooden legs. She told me tales of how she used to steal fruit from old farmer van across the way. He was a cranky old man, and he never liked them. She asked me if I loved my sister, and I thought, who, her, the blubber mouth? Hey! Yes, Bung Wai. I won't tease her again. When it came to her brother, though, she never told me why she became so sad every time I asked her about him. Not all grandma's stories were boring. Bung Wai told me that mother used to collect bullets. I thought that was cool. Mother, didn't think so. give me back my bullets. <laughs> Nevertheless, I still dreaded going to Grandma's place. I didn't mind the chocolates, but she always poured me this bitter, bitter tea. <sighs> Isn't it strange how time is enough of going by so quickly when you're not looking? One day, I woke up and they were everywhere. Ah! That summer she asked me if I had a girlfriend. Bah! No way! I was too young, wasn't I? Her grin then reminded me of a grizzly old wolf or wily fox ready to swallow me up. She began to tell me a story. We once had a crafty old rooster who loved to stir up trouble. One day he escaped. I chased him all over town. Let it go. That was when I met your grandfather. He was in town looking for a wife. Did you love him? No, not at first. But he was kind, quick-witted, and he worked hard. That was enough. That year, I received my first kiss from a girl named Anna. <laughs> Grandma was always scratching her right eye, but never saw a doctor about it. One day, she became half-blind, just like that. Isn't it strange how we take things for granted? The war came upon us so fast and one day it was suddenly bigger and worse than it had ever been. The Americans were friendly, but I still kept four eyes upon both my daughters. 
It was only after the soldiers had left that everything became worse. Eventually your mother left as well. It pained my heart to watch her leave. Years went by, and one day she asked for me to sit with her next to the pond in her garden. Do you know what plant that is? It's the lotus. It's a special plant. It closes at night, sinking into the water and opens again in the morning. There were many of them growing in the swamps and on mud banks around my village. I'm growing old and I miss my first home. I'm going back there. I probably won't return. I didn't know what to say. I couldn't say anything. She gave me an envelope and hugged me. She left then, leaving me to the silent garden. The envelope lay forgotten until I arrived back home. My grandmother was named Lian, after the lotus, and today will be a beautiful day. Lian.